Hello, I'm going to show you how to get set up with Google Forms and Aptivo in just four easy steps. What we're going to do today is we're going to set up a form inside of Google Drive and then we're going to configure it and connect it to the Aptivo Leads app. So real quickly, let's just go ahead and run through the steps we'll execute. First, we're going to create the form inside of Google Drive. Then we'll have to do some special configuration in order to connect it to Aptivo. Then we'll quickly test and ensure that the lead is getting submitted into Aptivo and then we'll talk about sharing the form. It's as simple as that. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing I want to do is just give you a link to the guide in case you need a step-by-step -step set of instructions for later on. So you can just come to the aptivo.com website, click right here, and then on this listing of all of our Google Apps features, you're going to be able to dive in and we can take a look right here at Google Forms. So this guide, it'll go step-by-step -step and show us all the things that you need to run through. Okay. So let's go ahead and actually get started with the setup. The first step was to create the Google form. So we're just going to come in here, create a form just like normal, and we'll go ahead and just name it. So you click create an empty form like that. And then we do have to go ahead and create a few different fields in here. So these are just going to be some text fields for their name. Uh, this specific set of fields, you should just copy what I'm doing right here and then you can review this set of fields on that guide that we just saw. Okay, so we're just going to go through there. Last name is a required field. Okay, and then this one, uh, the best way to contact, all those other ones were just text fields. This one will switch over to a choose from a list and the two options are email and telephone. Okay, and then the last one is just going to be description or you can call it comments or something like that. And we're going to use the paragraph text for this option. So once we're all set, this is what your form should look like. First name, last name, telephone, email, best way to contact, and description. And from here, we're all set. We can just go ahead and we need to do the configuration. So this is where we have to go ahead and get the special code from Aptivo and we'll paste it into the configuration here. So what you want to do is first of all, click on this view responses button. It's going to open up a new tab. We'll have an empty spreadsheet. This is where your responses are typically stored. And what we have to do is we're actually going to put this special integration into both this form and the spreadsheet. So before we can paste anything in, we need to get this special code from Aptivo. So you'll need to log into your Aptivo account and we're going to go to the leads application under CRM, then leads. And what we're looking for is inside of these settings of the leads application. So I go to more and then I click on settings. So here we're going to see in the left column, there's actually an option for Google forms integration and we can click on that. And all we have to do is just copy everything here. You don't really have to understand what's going on here. It's just some special code and it's connecting that form to Aptivo. So you click this link right here and I'm going to copy the entire thing to my clipboard and now we're going to go do the configuration. So this is the part where you'll have to watch closely and don't worry, the guide does break it down as well. So I'm going to start off in the form. I'm going to click on this tools option up here and select script editor. So this will once again open a new tab and what we're going to have to do here is name this project and paste in that code. So first, click up here where it says Untitled Project, and you can name it absolutely anything. So I can just name this Aptivo Test again, no problem. So it'll go ahead, take a second, it'll save in there. And once it's completed, then we'll be able to paste in the code that we just copied. So highlight everything in here, delete it, make it completely empty, and then we're going to go ahead and paste in. So it should just look exactly like you saw it inside of Aptivo, and then there's one more step that we have to do here. So we have the code in there, we've named the project. Now we need to click on this resources button up here. And you want to, you want to select current projects triggers. So this will open a little pop-up. It should say no triggers set up. And we're going to click on this link to add a new one. And now right here, you just want to make sure that you have the same values. You potentially might have to change this third one. Just make sure it says on form submit. And this is all you have to have, and you can press the Save button. 
it might ask you for authorization, in which case you just continue through. It's basically just going to authenticate that your Google accounts is giving permission to do this. Okay, so once all this is saved, this form is configured, and what we're going to do is we're going to repeat the same exact steps, but we have to do it on the spreadsheet of responses. So here, I'm looking at that empty spreadsheet that we opened up a minute ago. I'm able to click on Tools, Script Editor, same menu options as before. And in this, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and name that project. Doesn't even matter. You can name it the same thing. And once again, we're, once it's done saving, we're going to copy this text right here, delete it. And then we are going to paste in our new stuff. The final step, we click Resources, Current Projects Triggers. And we click on the link to add a new trigger. And right here you'll see, okay, I do have to indeed change it to On Form Submit. And then I will save. Authorize once again. And this should complete our configuration. So now everything's connected into Aptivo. The next step is we just want to run a test, make sure that everything was able to go successfully. So you click back to your form right here. And then right up here, we have the link for view live form. So this will open up a tab and we can submit this as if we were the customer. So just type in a message there, could be anything. And now right here, Google will tell you it's successfully submitted, but we want to go check how that appears inside of Aptivo. So we'll hop back in, open up that tab with our leads app, and then we'll go back to the home page of leads. Or actually we can just go ahead and use the search up there. Well, we see it popped up on top, but you'd be able to search. And as long as you see your lead, it means everything ran successfully. We can go ahead and click in, we'll see the email, and the phone number and everything have come through properly. So that's it. The final step is to go ahead and share this with your customers. And you can do that in any way that you would normally do with a Google form. So you're able to get the HTML code and embed this on your website, or you could just send this form straight via email using the Google tool right here. So that's it. Hope you found this helpful. And just let us know at support at if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.